Actually, there are many recipes for kimchi stew using pork or canned tuna on YouTube. But today, I will use pork ribs, which will make kimchi stew 10 times tastier. After watching this video, I promise that you can make perfect kimchi stew. I mean, this is so simple. In general, it's common to cut the meat in the stew into bite-sized pieces. But in the case of ribs, it is important to cut them slightly larger while maintaining the shape of the ribs. Let's boil pork first. Now, the amount of water doesn't matter at all. Just add enough water to cover the pork because I will be adding more water a few more times. As the pork cooks, dark colored something or oil will float on top. These are sometimes removed for a clean taste, but you should never remove them. This is because it's the key to the taste of the kimchi stew. When the water has decreased a little bit, add some more water. The longer it cooks, the better. Continue to simmer over medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes. Along with pork, this is kimchi, a key ingredient in today's dish. If you use freshly made kimchi, sorry, but you cannot make delicious kimchi stew. Therefore, it's important to use kimchi that has been aged for at least two to three months and has a sour taste. If you go to a Korean market, maybe you can find aged kimchi. The longer you cook kimchi stew, the richer the flavor. So let it boil for at least 20 minutes. When you boil it, the water will decrease like this. Don't worry, just add a little more water. Please observe the color of kimchi very carefully. The thick stem of kimchi is white at first. Boil until the color of the kimchi gets dark orange that is almost the same color of the broth. Taste it. If it's too bland, add a little kimchi broth or a little soy sauce. Various seasonings are sometimes added, but as long as the kimchi itself is tasty enough, you can use only the minimum amount of seasonings. When the cooking is almost done, prepared vegetables to decorate the kimchi stew. I prepared enoki mushroom, green onions, and tofu. You can add it according to your taste, but since kimchi stew is basically very red color, so the blue or white ingredients go well together. Sprinkle a bit of red pepper flakes to make it look a little more delicious and heat it once more before serving. Look closely at the color of the kimchi. If it's almost the same as the color of the broth, then it's done. Time to eat. By the way, kimchi stew goes well with white rice. Mmm. This is the ribs, so don't be shy about using your bare hands. You should also try the deep taste of kimchi and soup. Once again, the color of kimchi should be like this. This is a very important part of today's recipe. I can't help drinking today.